So I decided to take another look at the ViewSonic 17 monitor that I tried to use on the VAC Station 3200 last time. You may remember from that video I mentioned that it uh, didn't seem to be working. Last time I did have this monitor working was about maybe eight months ago when I was back at my previous um, apartment and it was working then but it got moved uh, in a car and so it got shaken around and I kinda had a suspicion that maybe something just wobbled loose because it doesn't seem like it's possible but it doesn't seem like capacitors or something like that would have gone bad uh, in that short of a term sitting around when there were basically no prior symptoms with that so I did try another uh, video source here which is why the laptop is pulled out over here and uh, still can't get it to show a picture um, I'm not completely sure but I don't think it's showing a roster either and uh, it does have tube glow back here it may be hard to get on camera you have to kind of get the angle right you can see the the tube glow on the CRT just a little bit back there so it's not completely unpowered and I also noticed an interesting thing hopefully you can hear this there's definitely some kind of bad connection in there causing some sort of malfunction with I don't know the power or the auto ranging uh, you know refresh rate switching sort of thing something's going on in there I'm gonna have to take this apart and see if there's a connector that loosened up and see what I can do to fix it so it's a brief amount of troubleshooting I did tonight and first look at this issue so I got the thing taken apart you know plastic piece has to come off the back and then this uh, rather thick aluminum piece of shielding comes off the back here and then uh, all that flimsy shielding comes off next and then well you more or less get to everything and then turns out I was right something rattled loose yeah so once you push that board back in the place and uh, carefully without touching any high voltage electronics of course go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, you can already just hear the difference without even Hear kind of the, the static crackle. That means the high voltage actually fired up this time. So that's a good sign. I bet it'll work now. I'm going to put it back together. Well, I'm going to test it first, and then if it works, I'm going to put it back together, and I'll shoot a quick video of it actually showing a picture, and maybe I'll stick it on the VAC station here since that's what I wanted to do with it in the first place. So not totally back together yet, but enough to test and well yeah it's working again so that's all that was wrong with it well at least all that's wrong with it that was anything new I'm sure it still has the old usual quirks um, so I'm gonna put it back together the rest of the way and uh, swap that out for the flat panel I have on the vac station okay here goes nothing Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right, the battery's dead. Uh, well, it works. 
I think the brightness is a little high. There we go. No clue how the contrast is until I got a, something running in more than, well, black and white essentially. As I mentioned in the other video, this is, uh, I only have the monochrome cables for this graphics board set. Someday I may make myself a color set, but for the moment all I have are the monochrome, so I've got the monochrome video into the green input on the back of the ViewSonic. The ViewSonic does sync on green just fine, so seems to work. It's, uh, seems perfectly fine now that I reseated that board. So I'm glad that was a simple fix because I didn't feel like digging into this monitor.